Hi everybody, I'm Lian Duan. Last year, I created an install mini cube in Windows 10 via Docker desktop video. After one year, there's a lot of change on Windows, Docker, and mini cube. So, I create a video on the same topic to give you a clear direction. The topic I'm going through in these videos are pre-condition check, install Docker desktop, install Minikube. First topic, pre-condition check. In hardware level, I have to enable virtualization in BIOS. This URL, the page has detailed how to go into computer BIOS to turn on virtualization function. Based on your computer, go to which session you need. If your computer built by yourself, you can search how to turn on virtualization based on your motherboard. And then run system info command to check your Windows 10 version. Run command system info. The OS version is highlighted. Please make sure your version higher than 1903. If your Windows version lower than that, you have to upgrade your Windows first. Next step, enable Windows subsystem for Linux 2 for Docker. Open the document from the Microsoft. Please follow the step-by-step -step to enable SL2 in your Windows 10. Latest step, apply Linux kernel patch. The document includes step-by-step, -step, the second link in there. After pass, preconditions check. Second topic, install Docker desktop. First step, download. Google search for download link. Open the page and then click download for Windows. Save file. Download completed. Open file to install Docker Desktop. Select two options. Click OK. Close. Open the Docker Desktop for verification. Accept the service agreement change. If you install the Docker Desktop in your personal computer, it's fine. If you try to install Docker Desktop to your company's computer, please follow your company's policy. Try some Docker command. Docker PS. I have to restart my VS code to reload new system pass. Run docker ps command successfully. Since there is no any container running, the result is empty. That's the right behavior. I didn't turn on the Kubernetes in Docker because if Kubernetes run in Docker desktop, the more resource the mini cube. In other reason, Minikube easily to delete and recreate Kubernetes OneNote cluster, then Docker desktop. Minikube will use the Docker as a driver. Third topic, install Minikube. Chocolate used to install Kube Control and Minikube. Chocolate is a software manager solution. If you are UI developer, Chocolate is the same as npm. chocolate is a chocolate command. Let me open the window terminal as a sysadmin. Run command chocolate install Kubernetes CTL to install Kubernetes control command. 
and then run chocolate install mini cube. After install, let me verification. First, run mini cube start. I highlighted the line. The line shows mini cube use Docker as driver. And then mini cube pulling the related Docker image. Running successfully. Run mini cube status command to check status. All components are running. Next step, run minikube dashboard command to start Kubernetes dashboard UI. If you running into verify proxy healthy stack, use Ctrl C to kill the command, and then run mini cube dashboard plus minor minor log to std error space minor minor v equal to two to turn on debug log with dashboard. The log showed error is no host in request URL. Run Ctrl C to kill current thread. And then try Minikube dashboard minor minor URL to add local host as dashboard address. The local host is added to the dashboard URL. Copy the URL to browser and open it. Minikube dashboard render without any issue. All Kubernetes resources looks good. Next step, open Docker desktop dashboard. Minikube running as a single Docker container. Latest, let's try kube control command. Kube control plus version. The command used to retrieve Kubernetes client and the server version. Use the chocolate to install kube control and the Minikube are completed. Today we learned how to prepare system for Docker desktop and mini cube. And then I show how to install Docker desktop. Finally, I demo how to install mini cube. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was help. And it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos come out, then subscribe my channel. If you have any questions or something not clear in the video, please post them in comment section below. I'll try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.